Thanks for clicking on this video to learn about some of the important fetal developmental milestones. Big changes occur in the fetus each week. However, this video will help you focus on the milestones that are important for good pregnancy outcomes. There are two phases of fetal development. Note the time frames for the embryonic and fetal phases. The picture here denotes the embryonic phase in blue and the fetal phase in gold. Look closely at this picture to see how rapidly changes occur during the pregnancy. During the first trimester, and remember that's the first 12 weeks, remarkable changes occur. By the eighth week, all organ structures are developed but are still quite immature. One example is that the heart is fully developed, with all four chambers by the sixth week. If you recall from PEDS, we discussed all the congenital heart anomalies, and this is when they occur. So many women don't even know they are pregnant at this point. Fetal heart activity can be seen on ultrasound by six and a half weeks. If not seen, the dates may be inaccurate or there is no longer a viable pregnancy. We expect to hear the fetal heartbeat with a Doppler by 10 to 12 weeks. Another important milestone is that the neural tube closes by week four. So again, we learned about neural tube defects in pediatrics and they develop within two weeks of the missed menstrual period. Preconceptual folic acid Intake is important in preventing neural tube defects. These cardiac and neural tube defects can be detected at 18 weeks during a routine fetal survey ultrasound. The second trimester focuses on the maturation of organs and fetal structures. Three things to note here are heart, lung, and neuromuscular changes. The fetal heart rate is much faster in early pregnancy and also has minimal beat-to-beat -beat variability when compared to the fetus in the third trimester. Very important in terms of lung maturation and the ability to survive outside the womb is the production of surfactant. One of the important things that the practitioner and the mother are on alert for is quickening. Quickening is the first time the mother feels the fetus move. This usually occurs between 18 and 20 weeks of gestation and is described as a fluttering, butterfly, or light tapping sensation. The fetus is only six inches long from crown to rump and weighs just under 500 grams. That's about one pound. Therefore, although active, it's not a strong sensation when compared to the fetus close to term. In contrast to the first and second trimesters, the third trimester allows for slow and steady maturation of organs and fetal weight gain. In the last month of pregnancy, the fetus gains about one ounce a day. The last six weeks, the brain has its greatest growth and the parasympathetic nervous system matures to allow for greater variability in the fetal heart rate.
Variability indicates an intact nervous system, and as you will hear throughout the course, it is something that we closely monitor during labor and delivery. At around 32 to 34 weeks, we worry less about respiratory distress with premature births because surfactant production is at a mature level. The milestones emphasized in this presentation should help you to understand the rationale for patient education, why we perform prenatal screening tests, and the importance of early and consistent prenatal care. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to come back to Blackboard soon to watch the other PowerPoint and YouTube videos prepared for this week.